in this video we will learn how to plot vectors in scilab so suppose if we want to plot the vector oa then we have to give the endpoints of this vector so one endpoint is at the origin having the x and y coordinates as 0 0 and the other endpoint of this vector has the coordinates 3 and 3 now in order to plot the vector oa we have to define a new vector z by taking the transpose of the o and a so that the first row of this z vector will be containing only the x coordinates of the endpoints of the vector which we have to plot and the second row of this z vector will be having only the y coordinates and after that if we use the plot 2d function and here we pass the x coordinates by taking only the first row elements and in the y coordinates we just pass the second row elements so this is how the vector OA can be plotted using the scilab. Let us execute it and see how the plot looks like. So we see that we are getting a plot of the vector OA whose endpoints are one is at the origin and the other is at the coordinates 3 and 3. Let us change these vector coordinates to say 2, 3 and to execute it again I have to first clear the figure. So for that I must include the clf command save it and execute it so we see that now a new vector has been plotted and the endpoints are one is at the origin and other is at 2 and 3 respectively so this is how a single vector can be plotted using scilab now if you wish to plot say two vectors oa and ob for that i have to give the endpoints for the vector b also so for say the vector b as this and now in order to plot OA and OB both I have to make a change in the vector Z and here I have to give O prime and B prime so if I give it like this then the vector from O to A will be plotted and then vector from O to B will be plotted let me change the coordinates of this vector A so let us execute this program and see how the plot looks like so we see that now we are getting a plot of these two vectors and this is matching with this and we can check the coordinates also so this vector is having the endpoints 0 0 and 2 5 so this is our vector OB and this vector over here is our vector OA having the endpoints at the origin and the other endpoint is at 4 and 3 respectively so this is how any two vectors can be or if you wish to plot say third vector also then for that you have to give the endpoints of the third vector and then you have to make the respective change in the vector z now let us move ahead and see if you have to plot this kind of a triangle how it can be done so for that we have to give the endpoints of the triangle so the first vertex is at say 1 1 let me change and for the b vertex the coordinates are 6 and 2 and for the third the coordinates are 3 and 5 respectively so we have given the coordinates of all the three vertices now in order to plot the vectors from a to b then b to c and then c to a we have to simply give a prime b prime c prime and then finally we have to give the a prime also because we have to plot from C to A. Now let us execute it and see whether we are able to plot the triangle or not. So we see that we are getting a triangle. So similarly you can plot the rectangle also. So if I give these coordinates for the rectangle so we see that we are able to get a plot for the rectangle. So this is how uh, we can plot the vectors using scilab. 